hungry Karani is strolling down the street looking for something to eat. There are many kinds of street food in Korea, such as sunde, twigim, kimbap, odeng, and tteokbokki. Kurani picks tteokbokki as the number one food for him. Then, what would be the food that is most loved by the Koreans? It is tteokbokki. Tteokbokki is definitely one of the most beloved dishes in Korea. But tteokbokki is not a gourmet meal, but rather a delicious comfort food that you can easily make. To make tteokbokki, you just have to slice kare tteok, which is a very long piece of rice cake, into shorter pieces. Then add them into a pot of broth and boil it. And lastly, add gochujang, which is Korean red chili paste, to season it. And you can also add in leeks, boiled eggs, or ramen, depending on your preferences. That easy! So how exactly did the simple street food become the most beloved food in Korean's heart? To get to know more about tteokbokki, we first have to learn about tteok, which means rice cake. Korea was traditionally an agricultural country. Their main food source was rice. To eat it more deliciously, the Koreans developed rice cake cooking techniques, which involves grinding, steaming, and pounding. Rice cakes came in beautiful colors and different unique shapes, which the Koreans enjoyed them together on special days. Amongst them, one rice cake looks too normal and tastes also very normal. That was kare tteok. But kare tteok was the most important rice cake to Korean people. Because its long shape symbolizes long life and its rounded sides look like the sun. Which is why Koreans start the new year with tteokguk, which is made using kare tteok. Even so, the taste of it was still very normal until one day something happened. The king of Joseon became very angry. He lost his appetite and refused to eat any kinds of food. At that very moment, the Yoon family, famous for making soy sauce, offered soy sauce rice cake to the king. And the king found his appetite back after eating it. This type of tteokbokki was called kungjung tteokbokki, which was dog cooked with beef, egg, and various kinds of vegetable. This is a different type from the spicy ones that we know of. Since then, tteokbokki was served only to the king, his family, and high-ranking officers in the palace. Commoners couldn't taste it until 1926, when the last king, Sun Jung of Joseon Dynasty, passed away and the palace shut down. Court ladies who knew how to cook royal cuisines started selling tteokbokki to common people for survival. Just this time, it wasn't an elaborate royal court dish, but just simply tteok fried in oil. Yet this is still very different from today's spicy tteokbokki. People were able to enjoy spicy tteokbokki only after the Korean War. There was an old woman called Ma Bok Lim who started today's tteokbokki in Shindang Dong in 1953. She accidentally ate some rice cake with soybean seasoned sauce while eating jajangmyeon noodles and was shocked by the taste. She then came up with the revolutionary idea of cooking kare tteok with red chili paste. She started cooking tteok with gokchujang and this was the start of today's tteokbokki. Furthermore, at that time, cheap wheat flour was being imported into Korea. People could make tteok even more easily using those flour. Therefore, tteokbokki was able to spread throughout the whole country. Since then, tteokbokki has gotten lots of love from the Korean people. Tteokbokki is very popular among the young kids because it is cheap. 
and young people enjoy the spiciness as it helps to get rid of stress from work and studies. The nostalgia of enjoying tteokbokki while hanging out with the school friends during study breaks are all embedded in most Korean school years' memories. Tteokbokki is also a comfort food for workers who wants to relax with a simple snack and alcohol after a long day of work. Tteokbokki is not only for kings and nobles anymore, but for everyone. You don't need to wait for a special day, but you can enjoy it anytime, anywhere. It is most delicious when you enjoy it with friends. So why don't you come to Korea and enjoy it with your friends together, chatting on the street? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next video. Annyeong!